Kenny here with Gardening Simplified. Today we're going to talk about building a raised bed. Yeah, we went after another load of compost today, and so we stopped by the home improvement store and picked up a few uh, two by eights. Now these are womanized. Uh, if you're worried about possibly these leaching in your bed if you're going to grow vegetables uh, you can simply wrap the inside with some plastic and, and roll it under towards the outside and that should keep uh, any type of chemicals from leaching into that that bed soil there but if you really worry about it then uh, take and get you a, a uh, some boards that you know are not treated they might not last as long but uh, just for your sake of uh, no anxiety on your organic food that you might be growing, uh, that's probably the best way to go. And of course, a uh, raised bed wouldn't be any good without a bed frame. So let's get this project underway. We have these cut up now if you're gonna be building a raised bed it's more practical if you buy uh, your lumber so that you can you won't be cutting it down now be, because we're working with a full-size bed frame to make a full-size flower bed then we have to cut it down now this frame being as full size it's a little wider than four foot so we had to get a ten foot board it's cheaper to go that way than buying uh, two eight foots and cutting off a lot of each one and then we went with two eight foots because it's it's only a little over six foot long but if you were if you were going to make a bed uh, most likely if you know three eight foot uh, and these are two by eight so it makes a fairly uh, good size on the side to, to separate your uh, bed height from your ground beside it now if you're gonna if you're gonna want it taller so you don't have to bend over as far as something you might want to do a higher bed but for the sake of this we just want to keep something to, so it's easier to manage grass getting into it. so now we've got our boards cut uh, what I'm going to do is uh, drill some holes get some screws and we're going to uh, screw these together and get this set up and then we'll go from there Okay, it's as simple as that. Now we'll just get this thing put into place on the property where we want it and uh, go from there. Now it's in place where it needs to be. Uh, what we've done is uh, line the bottom with cardboard. We hadn't did anything as far as removing the grass or anything like that. We, we put a couple layers. We didn't extend it way down past the sides, which because of the depth, it, it should be fine. Uh, now what we're going to do is we'll we'll go ahead and get our bed rails set up over the top of this and put into place uh, where they set like we want and then we'll fill it up.
Okay, there you go. One full-size flower bed. Now all it needs is some flowers. And we have these irises that were supposed to be moved quite a while earlier. So we'll get these things uh, planted in here. But now this, this is a great do-it-yourself project. If you have an old bed frame laying around, you can make you some yard art. Or you can act like a redneck, you know, maybe people come up and think you're a redneck because you have a bed out in the yard. But this is a true raised bed, for real. And I, I hope this gives you a little inspiration. Uh, if you want to see more of my videos, just hit that subscribe button. Uh, ring that bell so you'll be notified. Give it a big thumbs up and share this video. Happy gardening.